Jensen? Oh, Christ. Brent Radford? In the flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a, a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No. No time. The, they could be back. Any minute. Find the kit quickly. If you want answers. I'll be back. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Saraf got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Saraf. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Saraf had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't, you don't know. Your parents, your, your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all, I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley, behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Fuck. You, robot. This, this is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already, robot. Why did Seraph stop the investigation? You said he was spooked. What spooked him? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. <laughs> Hell, even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts. Close enough. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories, it's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss, one of the most powerful men in the world, look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. A fucking tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> Your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me. What was it like when you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain, and the morphine is... Just find her before they do. You, you owe her that much. Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that, British accent. He was in charge. Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry, four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well-armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone 
powerful, has their eyes on you, and is very interested in your past. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know... What a 9mm round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen, I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should, should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm going to get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Is this what you really want? There's a bear, Pope in the woods. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I fucked that one up. Listen, robot, if I could do it myself, I would. I got no family left, no one left to mourn. It's for the best. I ain't gonna be no burden on society. Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it. It'll be quick. I know. You, you did a good thing here. The ones that did this, I'll find them. Look at you, an iron g g giant with a heart of g g gold. B b b but don't do, do it f for me. D d do it f f for her, for m m Michelle. You owe her here life. Of course he is. I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray is landing tonight. Working. Listen, believe me, we tried. The old man blew for Lily. We left someone behind to watch him. If we need, we can go back. I'm not sure how much more it will take. It's me. We tried that already. Look, he can't get the safe open. That's why if you could, Send Smith down. Right. Thank you, sir. Now we'll contact you as soon as we have the information. Access granted.
Access granted. Did I leave my door open? Wait, you're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I... I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. Miss Walters, can you tell me about the boy in those photos? The boy in those photos? Adam. Tragic, really, what happened to his parents. His real parents. His real parents? They died in that fire. Horrible, really. I was there. At least those other cribs were empty. I only had to save Adam. Mrs. Walters, I really need you to focus. What are you talking about? Why, well, I already told that nice detective all this already. About the experiments and the fire at White Helix Labs. We knew Adam was special. That's why his parents started the fire so they didn't do the same thing to the next batch of babies. So my... Adam's real parents were trying to protect him. But from what? Why, from the conspiracy, of course. But I've said too much. Would you be a dear now and go fetch my dinner? Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. You've done enough for him, Mrs. Walters. I'm sure he'd want you to keep the money. So nice of you. Like Mr. Radford and Adam. You know, they called him a genetic marvel. He was ahead of his time. They was hoping to tear out so much from his DNA. But we stopped him. Oh, yes, we did.